Good afternoon guys, Victor here, and I'm with Brookie, my lovely fiance. Hey guys. And we are pompano fishing today. Now, every time I've pompano fished, it's either been the best day of pompano fishing I've ever had, which was actually at this spot right here where we crushed them, or it's been absolutely slow. The sun's going down, we haven't had a bite yet. We got all the rods out. Pretty beautiful out here, I gotta say. Nick, Nick, Nick. First rod got hit, no idea what happened, but a black tip came up and jumped like 10 feet in the air. It either got wrapped in the line, or a lot of times what'll happen is the pompano will be on your line, and the sharks will see him struggling there and they'll come and eat it. Now, if you guys have been keeping up with the videos, you know that I gave away an angle cooler and a ridge wallet. All you guys have to do is comment below on the previous two videos. Now it's time to pick a winners, so pay attention. If you guys know the person I'm about to announce, please notify them if you guys don't see it yourselves and reach out to me via email, teethtv at gmail.com, DM me on Instagram or something. Now let's pick the winners. A random common picker, so you guys know there's no cheating or anything. Start raffle and pick random winner. James Henderson, carbon fiber with a cast strap. Now for the angle cooler giveaway. Start the raffle. Jack Collins, you are the winner. You wanted an 80 quart white cooler from Angle. Pick me, please. That's you, man. So if anybody knows Jack or Jack, if you're watching, reach out to me via email or Instagram. Now I'm going to be doing a lot more giveaways until Christmas. Like I told you guys, Dexter knives, a must add care package, Conley rods, all these things. So please make sure to watch the videos and we got to put some fish on the beach. Enough talking. Guess what? We didn't get skunked. I have been fishing. I got three rods out. I have casted a plug for hours and then I finally got bit on um, a little rig like this with little fish bites on there. Guess what? Caught myself a croaker. Now if I catch a ton of these, I'll cook them up. If I don't catch a ton of these, I want to catch something. So we might use them for shark bait. I got the shark rod out here and I got cut off by a black tip so I know they're around. So we're going to stick this guy in the cooler and we'll see what his life ends up doing. That sunset looks amazing. Yeah, you can't put a price tag on that. This guy is beautiful right now. Leonard Skinner. Leonard. Leonard? Yeah. Met Leonard over here, a subscriber. He, ca he came up to us and he's like, that's Brooke, isn't it? And I'm like, mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, dude. Nice meeting you. No luck? Um, I hit two this morning. Oh, yeah? Nine yesterday morning. Oh, okay. Bite was really thick um, yesterday morning. That's like the typical story with Pompano. You should have been here yesterday. You should have been here the next day. Not right now, but I think the cold front shut it down. Yeah, they, they was biting right before the front. Yeah, again. Tomorrow it's going to be on fire. You think? I Tomorrow know. morning? I here? Know. Yeah, yeah. We'll be here tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, nice to meet you, man. Well, nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, I just caught this whiting, so I'm going to throw him in the cooler as well. Unregulated species, never done a catch and cook with one. And yeah. Well, we ended the night with a few whiting and that one croaker, and it got dark, so I'm going to take it back to the roots and try to put a shark on the beach. And just a big chunk of croaker, I'm going to send it out. Oh, I got him. I got him this time. This bluefish isn't coming on glued for me. Bluefish! That's how you know the seasons are changing and it's getting cold in Florida. When you start to see bluefish like this down here, that's when you know fall, winter. These are good sized bluefish. The ones we normally get are like one to two pounds, but this guy's a solid like three pounder. So there's the bluefish. And if there's bluefish around, that probably means there's a lot of sharks and stuff around because the sharks will follow the bluefish and pompano, jacks, anything that they can really feast on in the surf. And you do not want to get your hands in there. They don't have big teeth, but they have a lot of jaw pressure. They will they literally rip your, your thumb or finger off if you put them in there. I think Brookie and I are going to call it quits for tonight. It's getting a little cold and the bite has basically shut down completely. No more bluefish bites or anything. But today's video is actually sponsored by Olight Store. So if you guys don't know what Olight is, it's a website that specializes in headlamps, flashlights, tactical lights, hunting lights. I'm going to have them linked in the description box below as well as up here. And they are having a massive, and I mean massive, Black Friday sale going on from November 28th through December 2nd, including this crazy little flashlight, which I'm going to show you guys how bright this thing is in a second. 
This is the Orange Seeker 2 Pro. It's up to 40% off from November 28th through December 1st. I'm gonna have it linked below as well. Let me show you guys how bright this thing is. So you guys see this? This little flashlight, which is rechargeable, it looks really good, it feels good in your hands. This thing lights up like the entire beach. And you guys are like, Vic, why are you doing a flashlight integration in a fishing video? Well, a lot of you guys don't know, but what I grew up doing, what Brooke and I did a long time ago and, and still do, is land-based shark fish. And we do a lot of nighttime fishing. So when we're out here on the beach, number one, lights are a safety thing. And number two, like when we have someone kayaking out there and they're coming back in, it's good to have a flashlight for an indicator. It's also good for rigging up and for leadering sharks, it is really important. And you guys will see all the B-roll playing on the screen here. And then headlamps, which uh, Olight also specializes in, are a huge thing. When we're at Sebastian Inlet or fishing at night and I'm trying to rig up, I need a headlamp. And so lighting is a crucial thing for me. And one really cool thing about this Black Friday promotion is, so Olight is giving out these little flashlights right here. This is the i3e. And all you guys have to do to get this for completely free is just make an account with them. You guys just have to register. I'm gonna have all the directions linked in the description box below. I mean, it's a no-brainer. They're literally giving you guys a free little mini flashlight. And it actually has a little keychain clip right there, which is pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna be bringing this along with me next time we go shark fishing or something. Leave it in your truck. And this little light, like I said, guys, all you have to do is register below and 45% off, check them out. If you guys are into hunting, maybe tactical lights, I'm sure there's something for you. Crazy, crazy Black Friday deals going on. Check them out in the description box below. Brick's going duck hunting this Sunday. So are you stealing my flashlight? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I just got this thing. I guess, um, guys, you gotta let your girls borrow your flashlights. I don't think that statement has ever been said before. <laughs> I guess not. So I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I think we're going to be up here bright and early. I'm dying to get on some pompano. See you there. All right, good morning, guys. It is the next morning. Take a look behind me and check out that sunset. We got to get rigged up. And this time, we're putting a pompano on the beach. Now we sit and wait. We got three pompano rods out. Brought a little rod to mess around with in the trough because like I caught that whiting yesterday. I've never done a whiting catch and cook and if I got a few, take those home for dinner. We're not going empty handed today. Well, that one was a swing and a miss. I don't know what it was, but it's not on there anymore. We got the first pompano on, I think. That elite, boys and girls, that elite. First keeper pomp of the season for me. Probably a 12, 13 inch fish. Definitely a keeper, I'm not even gonna measure this one. And uh, that was on the orange bait, on the orange fish bite, the clam flavor, I'm pretty sure. So, gonna get back, gonna get back out there. So when I just got that pompano hit, I was actually fishing this rod like I told you guys about for whiting, trying to get whiting croakers. And check out what I caught. Older subscribers know exactly what this funky looking fish is. This is called a glass nose. They kind of look like a catfish. They got these whisker-like things at the bottom of them. Super delicious tasting. And there's a really cool backstory on these fish that has to do with people going to prison and only kings and queens being allowed to eat them. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about that later, but he's going in the cooler. These guys are unregulated and I mean delicious. And you know what? You don't always kill it out there. This is basically two days worth of fish, but you know what? One pompano, one whiting, one glass nose, that'll be two to three meals for Brooke and I. This is what the majority of people are on the beach in Florida for. Very highly praised fish. These guys, these little fish can go up to $7 a pound in the commercial market and they're sold $15 a pound um, at an actual fish market and stuff. They're very lucrative fish. Little whiting, 
also known as a golf kingfish, I'm pretty sure. And then here is the glass nose. This is the fish I was gonna tell you about that had a really cool backstory. So I've done a catch and cook with one of these guys before. And if you look right here, they got like an orb shaped nose. It's clear, it honestly looks like it's made out of glass. And very funky looking fish. They got these whisker looking things. Kind of freak a lot of people out. So this is an Atlantic threadfin. I did a, when I first caught one of these, I was like, what the heck is this? So I started doing research on them. In the Pacific, in Hawaii, this used to be called the fish of kings. I'm pretty sure it's moi or moi. It, I think it's a French Polynesian term. You guys can comment below if I'm butchering that. But the reason it was called the fish of kings, these fish back in the day were so highly praised that only male royalty was allowed to eat it. You could literally go to prison if you ate this fish, which I think is crazy because the Atlantic version, people throw this fish back and they're usually considered a trash fish. But it goes to show you different parts of the world, different fish, different cultures, they view fish differently. So we're gonna fillet these three little fish up, starting with our pompano, going all the way up, getting that head meat, and just gonna outline our fillet. This is definitely not gonna be the last pompano video you guys see for this season. Actually, I think I did. I don't know if I told you guys this on camera, but I actually um, gutted this pompano as you guys see right there, because I used the guts for the crab trap bait, but the crab trap didn't exactly work out. The swells were just too big, and my crab trap was just getting tossed back to shore the entire time. Beautiful pompano filet right there. What do you think is gonna be the best out of these? Um, I know that pompano is the oiliest and has the most flavor. I think the other two are very mild tasting fish. The, the Gulf Kingfish and the Glass Nose. This is definitely probably most people's favorite mainstream wise. I've also heard that some people think that pompano is fishy. Yeah, a lot of people actually don't like pompano. They do call it fishy, which is funny. So there's our second pompano filet. So here is what I'm talking about. These are the pompano filets. Take a look at that color. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's one firm fish, like a real buttery texture. And then this is the whiting. Very mild fish, uh, not too firm, probably gonna be very flaky. And here's the glass nose. Not bad at all either. What I love about YouTube and what I love about this channel is showing the positivity. And you know, I went out there fishing for two days. A lot of guys would have just kept the pompano, but you know what? If you ever get into whiting or glass nose, I highly suggest you try them because they're delicious and you know, they're unregulated. That's another thing. And you can get a ton of fillets off of them. That little whiting, look at that. That is a meal. That's like, five ounces of fish for one person right there from one little whiting and it's gonna taste really good. Tonight's recipe is gonna be an almondine, almondine sauce. Hopefully I'm not butchering that. It's gonna be really good so I'll see you guys in the kitchen. So we're jumping right into it and we're gonna start with our dressing. I'm gonna be making a side salad to go along with our pompano, the whiting, and the glass nose. In the magic bullet I have half of an avocado, some cilantro, some cucumber, a lot of this is leftover stuff from Brooke and I's sushi party, which she's gonna be posting an epic, epic catching cook coming up here. This girl rolled 25 rolls all by herself. Uh, what was it, Saturday night? Yes. Saturday night. So, to add to this magic bullet, I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I have full fat Greek yogurt. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh lime juice in there as well. Now we're gonna pepper it up black pepper, salt, use some garlic powder. Now we give it a good mix. Brick and I just did a little taste test and I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil because it's kind of tangy. It's not, um, it's not really rich enough. So a little more olive oil. Now for this is gonna be for our sauce for the fish. I have some almonds right here, sliced almonds. We're gonna toast them up around medium heat, 
Should take around five minutes. Just gonna bring out the flavors, get them aromatic, and um, brown them up a little bit. You guys know me, and I'm huge on eating fish with the skin on, especially something like pompano. That is my favorite way to eat it. But if you do do it, always make sure to score the skin, otherwise it can curl up on itself. So I'll just do about three slices down the length of the fish. And we're gonna season our fillets, salt, pepper, black pepper, and of course, it wouldn't be Vic's Catch and Cook without some garlic powder. Whoa, a little heavy on the hand there. Flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. And I also have a paper towel here because as we know, heat or searing and moisture are the enemy. Can I show you how to use this? Yeah, sure, thanks. Wow, look at that skill, it's all in the wrist. Can you show me how to use the salt too? No problem. Wow, you can film and salt fish at the same time. You really are a keeper. I'm not promising that it's gonna be smooth footage. How's my form, Brooke? Last thing we're doing to our fish is coating them in a little bit of flour. Thin layer. Both the skin side and the fillet side. I really wanted to do the flour for the whiting and the glass nose because I know the pompano is gonna hold up well. And I think the flour will help this fish to firm up, give it a good crispiness to it, you know? Mm -hmm. You guys, if smell-o-vision was a thing, you would be licking the screen right now because these almonds, the toasted almonds, smell so good. They smell like waffles. They smell like just delicious. Now in the same pan, some oil. Pompano, skin side down. We're gonna cook it two-thirds of the way. Skin side. Now our glass nose and whiting fillets are a lot thinner than the pompano. So I'm gonna take those off of the heat. Cause they're definitely done. Okay. Now the pompano I cook the majority of the way on this side, that way I can get that crispy skin. Because the flour will crisp up a lot faster than the skin is. All right, so our fish is plenty done. I would say I cooked it 80% on the skin side. Now we have plenty of oil in here. I'm not gonna clean my pan because we're gonna deblaze it a little later. I'm gonna reduce my heat just a little bit. I have some onions going in. This is half of a very small yellow onion. This isn't entirely my recipe. I looked up, there's this guy called Recipe 30. He makes kick ass fish recipes. And I did steal a little bit of stuff from him. So shout out to that dude. Cause you know what? It's hard to come up with a lot of stuff on your own. You gotta get inspired by other people sometimes. Like you, like me, you get inspired by me a lot. All the time. Onions are browned up, dry sherry to deglaze. Sherry is reduced by about half. Now we're gonna add some cream. Sherry cream sauce has thickened up quite a bit. We're gonna finish it off with some fresh scallion. And we're gonna do half of the almonds in here. And then we're gonna coat the rest of our fish with the rest of the almonds. Look at how good that looks. Taste test is commencing now. So we each got a piece of pompano. Brookie's got a piece of glass nose and a piece of whiting. Let's do the whiting and, and glass nose first. No? I'm not gonna lie, I already took a bite of it and it was really good. <laughs> good, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is so good. The it's sauce? Unlike, mm. It's unlike anything you've made before. No. Or anything I've had before either, I don't think. It is so freaking good. I'm not one who gets very enthusiastic 
like eating on camera, like a cooking show, but this is good, like really good. This is, I've just had the, um, the whiting so far. The fish itself, phenomenal. If you guys have never had whiting before, cook this way, delicious. The sauce, great. The toasted almonds, I love the crunch, the, the flavor of it, the fragrance of it. So good. You gonna try some? I'm gonna try some of this. Did it, did it, doesn't the almond- Don't take mine! You don't want me to take There's it? There's a whole other piece over there. I got cut off. Doesn't the almond pair really well with the fish? I've had all three so far. First, glass nose. Second, pompano. Third, whiting. Yeah. And? Oh, you're saying first, gla first glass nose? Really? Go get the other three. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta try the pompano. What, the, what is it about the pompano? Is it oily for you? The glass nose is just really good. Mmm. That pompano, like I told you, when I'm filleting it, they just got a texture like no other fish. Super buttery. I'm usually not the biggest fan of um, fish skin? skin on fish, and there are some fish that I really like the skin on it. I don't know if that's the Oh, bro. The actual meat though, like if I didn't eat the skin, like I ate around the skin, I like it, especially with the sauce. I think she's crazy. I love fish skin, but I guess it's just, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. The glass nose is better than the whiting. Mm-hmm. I'm leaning towards the pompano just because I really like the skin, but both very good. Mine goes pompano, glass nose, then whiting. Whiting was last for me. It was like yellow toe. Very mushy. Just mushy. Just mushy. The sauce, though, is amazing. Mm -hmm. And it was r actually really simple. And my cooking in the fish was also and really simple. Mm-hmm. So I would definitely recommend giving this a try, especially for me, I like really simple recipes. I'm not someone who likes to do long, elaborate recipes. So this can really like make something, you know, pretty so simple, really amazing, gourmet. you know? So if you're trying to like impress someone, I definitely say give this a shot because it's really good and it really can like spice it up. And there's only one way to find out. You guys got to make it for yourselves and you guys will see that we're not full of it. We honestly do enjoy almost everything we cook. Now, how about the salad dressing? We didn't try that. Very good. Mm -hmm. I've made a lot of sauces and a lot of salad dressings with Greek yogurt. If you guys aren't on that Greek yogurt train, you better hop on because first of all, it's really healthy for you. Second of all, incredibly easy to make sauces and bases out of and just so good. I'm going to just use a bunch of leftover vegetables and cilantro and stuff and made that sauce. We want to get back to eating. Enough talking. Now, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you, Brookie, for helping me. Uh, big shout out to Olate for sponsoring this video. We love working with people that love to work with us. And if you guys haven't heard already, so that promotion is going on from December or November 28th through December 2nd. Almost everything is 45% off and you guys can get that i3e, that mini light for free. It's a it's a $10 light you guys are getting for free. You can stick it on your keychain or whatever. All you have to do is register. You guys saw it at night, um, very high quality lights. And I'm sure there's something there for you, whether you're hunting, you want a tactical light, whatever it may be. But I know that we will definitely be taking them in the fishing bag, leave it in the truck because- I'm taking it hunting. <laughs> yeah, she's stealing it from me this Sunday. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in that next video.